Hello, today is August 18th, 2021. I am going to Valentine Center for Dentistry to get my implant process underway. Um, I had thought about making this video a long time ago and just didn't do it. I put it off. I'm full of nerves this morning. I didn't really want to edit this, but I might have to, and I'll take my glasses off. So here I am. That's what it looks like. We'll see what we can get done. Okay, so here I am just leaving the dental office um, after my appointment. I am now $45,000 lighter in the pocket. Um, I made my payment today 100% in full, so we are good to go. Um, in the event that you're wondering where, here it is, uh, Ballantine Center for Dentistry and Dental Implants. Um, that is with Dr. Yast, Y-A-S, T-E. That's Valentine, North Carolina. Um, look him up. He has a YouTube channel as well. Uh, I did my uh, research, went to a few different places, including um, the most popular place. Uh, I think probably most people hear about, uh, you know, nationwide is Clear Choice. Um, and we decided, my husband and I, on Valentine Dentistry to do this. So I will make another video soon to go over kind of the process so far, but I'm excited to say that um, I'm ready to go. Two thumbs up, big thumbs up, big smile. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm home now. Same day, just got back from the um, dental office and I just thought, let's talk about it for a few minutes, kind of, well, it's fresh in my head. Um, met with the, uh, the liaison, the patient, Dr. Liaison, um, her name is Carla, very nice woman. She took all of my money, um, which I happily gave up to her. Um, so that we could get the process started. I had scans today of my entire mouth, um, remaining teeth and gums. Um, so that was quite a process. It took a while. They were having some issues with their machine, but it was fine. Everything was good. Had that done. Also took tons of pictures and met with a doctor. Went over some, um, questions that I had. Actually, you know what? Let me take my glasses off because it's um, got quite a glare. Uh, went over the questions that I had for the doctor. Um, today, I, it was really overwhelming and I couldn't think of a lot um, that I had to talk to him about. Um, It, it's such an emotional process, I think, and, and I talked about that a little bit, started crying a little bit with the doctor. Um, he actually told me that that's not uncommon, and uh, everybody um, has a little bit different feeling about it, but, um, you know, nobody ever goes in there and says, hey, yeah, rip all my teeth out because I'm so cool with that, and let's, let's get them all taken out. Do it today if you can. Um, you know, when you're going through a process like this, um, most people just do not uh, say that. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, in a later video. Um, I just wanted to get everything, well, it was fresh in my memory um, on here today. And then I'll go uh, make a couple more videos in the future. But, um, I, you know, I ask questions like, oh, of course, for me, first question, how long before I can work out? And that's going to be uh, two to three weeks after surgery. If everything goes as planned, I would be able to work out. 
Um, I wanted to know about stitches. Like, uh, will I have stitches? How many kind of stitches? And it sounds like there'll be um, quite a few on upper and lower, obviously. Um, so yes, uh, I will have stitches. Um, talked a little bit about what my teeth will look like um, and the temporaries and then the um, permanents. Uh, he did explain to me that the temporaries will not look like the permanents. So, um, you know, we, we will be able to tweak that look before I get my permanents done. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, uh, everything went really well. Um, I guess the largest hurdle was the financial portion. And now that that is done, I guess we'd go onward from here. Sounds like maybe the second week of October. Um, I'll expect a phone call from them probably tomorrow or the next day to give me some more information on um, planning. And uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for uh, getting through this with me and more information to come.